Hello everybody and welcome to a short video on how to use MuseScore 4. We're going to be using MuseScore 4 to write music using shape notes. First of all, I'm going to open the program here. MuseScore 4 is the one that I'm working with. And the first thing we're going to do is start a new score. So when you click on the plus sign here, we will start a new score. And there's all different options you have, but the ones that we're going to use to make this uh, so that we can write shape notes and write uh, church music with the shape notes, we're going to go to uh, Choral. And then the one you're looking for is SATB Closed Score. This is what we would use to write a cappella shape notes. I'm going to press Done. And now you see we have both our treble clef and bass clef at the bottom, soprano and alto at the top, tenor and bass at the bottom, just like you would in your hymn book. And next, first of all, I guess I'll just put a few notes on here just so you can see what it would look like. And notice all the notes are the same shape. So what we want to do instead, before we even start writing notes, is this is the very first thing you want to do. And by the way, I always tell people when I'm playing with MuseScore, uh, one of the things that helps me a lot is the escape button, because sometimes um, I get into something that I want to get out of, like I want to get out of writing notes, but everywhere I click, there's another note. Ah! So I can click the escape button and get out of that till I don't see my notes uh, selected anymore. I can do things like clicking on this measure and deleting it, clicking on that measure, deleting it. And I'm showing you this in case you make any of those little mistakes. What you want to do if you're going to write shape notes, uh, it will help anyway, is starting right from the beginning. I'm going to click on an empty spot in the measure. Any of these measures will do, just in an empty spot. And I'm going to right click. With your Windows, you would right click. If you have a Mac, you control click, which means you press down the control and then click here. So either uh, on your mouse with Windows, right click, or on your Mac, control click. So I'm holding down the control key on my Mac right now, and I will click here. And this will pop up. What you're looking for is the staff properties. So once again, I'm going to do that again. Control click in an empty spot, and we're looking for staff properties. Once you click on staff properties, you have a lot of choices. We're looking for the advanced. You're going to go to the advanced style properties. And under advanced style properties, it says note head scheme here. This is what we're looking for, this box where we can choose what kind. Normal note heads right now. Click on where it says normal and go down to where it says seven shape Aiken, A-I-K-I-N. I'm going to click on Aiken. And now it shows me what my note heads are going to look like. I'm going to get the shape notes that I'm looking for. Now this is very important. You're not done yet. You have to make sure that you click OK in every box. If you happen to click Cancel or somehow click out of here, then you might lose what you just did and wonder why it didn't work, even though you saw this. So make sure you click OK. And this box too, make sure you click OK. Now, if I've done it correctly, I'm going to choose a note here. And when I start to write these notes, I should see shapes pop up. So now, I have the shapes. If you know what you're looking for, you'll recognize it right away. If you're new to this, I'm teaching a songwriting class right now, and a lot of people are new to this. The beautiful thing about this is that when you put it on the staff automatically it will show up as the shape notes that we're looking for and it can help you uh, if you're learning to write music especially uh, to know uh, where, where the shapes go and if you happen to put it in the wrong place you'll immediately see oops wrong shape you can do it again I'm going to click the escape key remember escape key is very important click the escape key until I don't see any of these notes uh, selected here and now I can click wherever I want to play this melody. So usually I'll click from the front, from the beginning. 
So I'll click right there and up here, my playback controls, click play. Nice. I'm able to listen to it. And this is key. If you're writing music, you can listen to it, easily hear what it sounds like. If you don't like it, you can go back and change it. Now, let's talk about one more thing uh, that may show up. I'm going to get rid of all these notes. If you're copying music from somewhere, and this we're not doing in our class yet, but I'm going to teach it ahead of time. If you're copying music from somewhere, before you start, you want to make sure you know what the key signature looks like. And these are the key signatures over here. <clears throat> when you look in your songbook, you look at the beginning of the song, and you look and see if it has sharps, which look like this, or flats, which look like this, like little bees. <laughs> so I'm looking up, let's say I'm looking at a song, and it has uh, three sharps. If I remember right, praise the Lord, the heavens adore him. Uh, I may not be right on A, but that's in the key of A, if I remember right. So I would click here. And oops, it showed up on that measure. So another friend always to remember is your edit undo. You can edit and undo something you did anytime, never panic. So I'm going to go and click here. Or you can also, I believe, hold this and drag it here. Either one will work. Or I can just click there and on that measure and click here and boom. Now I am in what's called the key of A. And even if you don't know what that is yet, at least you know that you did it the way uh, the songbook has it written out. And when you go to write your first note, uh, the first note of that song would be this one. If I remember right, if I'm wrong, oh well. The point is, <laughs> now all my notes will line up according to the A scale. Now, if you're writing a song, and let's say you decide uh, that, um, let, let's say, let's do it this way. Let's say I'm writing a song, and it goes down pretty low. And I'm thinking to myself, that's a little low. I would like, and first of all, let's listen to what it sounds like. Press Escape until you see nothing selected. Click here. Press Play. Okay, that's a little tricky. I might change a note. You can drag it down and look, it'll change shape as you go. See? So let's click here again and play. Great. So as a songwriter, if I've written this and I realize, wow, that went down pretty low, sopranos might not be able to hit this, then I could change keys. And what I'm gonna do right now is I'm clicking here and something that you don't want to do is just do it the same way like I'm going to change to E but what's going to happen or let me change to another one so you can see it clearly let me change to a flat key <laughs> what's going to happen is I change keys but the computer still wants to keep all these pitches the same as they were and that means a lot of extra accidentals we don't want to do that so again, what is your friend? Edit, undo, undo that quickly. Okay, now we're looking normal again. What can I do to make this change key and um, actually move these notes? So I don't want to just select it from over here. Instead, what I'm looking for is a special tool. So make sure that you've clicked on the first measure of your piece. And then I'm going up here to um, so make sure that I'm inside the program. Going up here to where it says Tools. And then right away at the top of your tools is a tool called Transpose. When I click on Transpose, it will give me the option, and it's probably your first option, should say Transpose Chromatically, to a different key. I'm in the key of A major. And let's say I want to try one of these different keys. And I'm going to put E major in just a second. Okay. First of all, let's keep an eye on what it looks like right now, because in a second it will completely change. And 
you have your option once you change keys are you going to make everything move up or down or i really like this option it's not on all programs closest uh that will make it jump to whatever would be the closest change so let's try that one but you know even before doing that let's just think what do we want this to do we said this is too low so let's put up for sure we were going to want to move up so i'm going to change it to a different key could be any key i'll try e major and always press ok there you go oh what happened only one of my measures was moved so always your friend edit undo and let's go back and select both of these measures okay here's a little trick click on one and then you can select a whole bunch of them by going somewhere else and shift clicking somewhere else this is a lot like uh, word processors hold down the shift key and then press somewhere else boom and all of it will be changed so uh, let's go back to tools transpose again keep an eye on this it's about to change we want it to go up i'm going to put it in the key of e okay boom and this is just about right this is where i would like the sopranos to sing okay so let's go over everything that we've done in this video so far uh, first of all i'm going to shift click delete this and i'm going to turn everything back to the key of c basic key um, matter of fact i'm just going to start a whole brand new brand new score because i want you to remember what to do from this brand new score so first of all open choral singing satb which means soprano alto tenor bass closed score if you look at this you see you already have a preview this is four parts separate that's not what we're looking for right now closed score two lines of music two staffs together perfect treble bass soprano alto tenor bass then right away go to uh click on here either control click or right click and staff properties advanced properties change the note head scheme from normal to aiken make sure you press ok on everything then start to write and you should see shapes showing up if you accidentally like i did there i had notes come up and i mean rest instead of notes always press escape and then try again okay Remember, if you want to play back, press escape till you don't see notes anymore. Go to in the point where you want it to play back. I mean, maybe you could even want to hear it from somewhere in the middle. Press playback from there. Or from the beginning. Okay. And if you want to, I'll get rid of this. If you want to be copying from a songbook, the first thing you would do you would look for a time signature which is usually 4-4 but it might be 3-4 we didn't go over that but just to let you know you can change it to 3-4 4-4 2-4 uh for now we're going to concentrate on 4-4 especially in our class we're working with that but the key signature is something that will help you let's say i want to do something in uh, this key this is a flat i'll click here click on a flat da, 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 da. we have heard the macedonian call today send the light that one is in a flat and it also has a pickup which is something that i think i'm going to teach later but for now just to let you know if i go ahead and start writing here again you might not be a musician if you're a musician you know look at that the triangle do is right on the space for a flat if you're not a musician well the computer helps you because now you know where do is 
and I will just end on do right there to end this song. So let's listen to it. Escape, press the beginning, and play. Beautiful. And that's as far as we'll go for now. So we learned how to uh, go ahead and write your, your uh, notes using shapes by using your properties. And we also learned how to transpose if you need to, how to put in um, different keys. Oh yes, and that's right. If you want to transpose, go to Tools, Transpose. I'm going to take this back to the key of C. And in, let's bring it <laughs> down. Kind of far down, but it probably would work better, undo, in this key. But for the purposes of our class, we are going to be learning in the key of C. So for those who are in our class, want to stay in the key of C. Oops, looks like I need to change it to key of C down here too. There we go. And let's listen to it. And my triangle is right there on C. Just the beginning. Just learning how to do the basics so that you can start to write in shape notes in MuseScore. A lot of fun things to learn after this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you uh, use MuseScore to go ahead and write in shape notes. God bless you.